Beloved, I'm Pastor Felu Mosheson. I come to you in the new year in the name of Jesus Christ. I wish you a blessed, glorious new year 2021 in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, I'm the host of Living by Grace. It's a new year. And I still like to remind you that we believe that the greatest gift that God has given us as men is the gift of grace, the grace of God. The grace to live a life that is truly, truly blessed. A life that is honored. A life that is glorified. A life that is peaceful. A life that is full of the riches of the Lord. I believe that through the brokers of today, you and other members of the family of grace that will be listening to me will be blessed. So as we listen, God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome back. Before we go into the broadcast for today, I'd like us to have a time of praying together. So let us pray. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ for the salvation of our souls. We thank you, Lord, for your grace that has kept us alive to see the beginning of a new year. We thank you, Lord, for all the experiences of your grace, the different forms of the manifestation of your grace unto us in the year that ended. Thank you for life. Thank you for food. Thank you for clothing. Thank you for safety. Thank you for journey mercy. Thank you for all our loved ones around us. Thank you for the good things we were able to do. And thank you for all the good gifts that we received in the year. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for last year experiences of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's a new year, Lord. And we thank you for all the experiences of you that you have prepared for us for this year. In all areas of our life, in our going out and in our coming in, Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for all the broadcast of living by grace this year, starting with this one. We thank you, Lord, because more people shall be blessed through this broadcast than were blessed last year. And Lord, we thank you because many more people will tune in this year and the testimony of your doings through this platform will reach the hands of the heart. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the grace for this work. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Once again, I welcome you. Being the very first broadcast for the year, we shall be talking about gratitude to God. And so the topic for today's discussion is the password. Thank God. That's the password. The password. Thank God. Our text will be taken from Psalm 100, verse 1 to 5. Psalms 100, verse 1 to 5. And I will read from the message version. Because there are certain revelations that the message version brought out that we probably would have missed if we were to look at it from any other version. So we are reading from the message version, Psalms 100, verse 1 to 5. And I read, On your feet now, and put your hands together for God. Bring a gift of laughter. Sing yourself into his presence. Know this. God is good. And God, God. He made us. We didn't make ourselves. We are his people. His well-tended sheep. Verse 4, enter with the password, thank you. That's the password. Enter with the password, thank you. Make yourself at home, talking praise. Thank him, worship him. 
Let me take verse 4 again. Enter with the password. And what is the password? Thank you. Make yourself at home. Talking praise. Thanking him. Worshipping him. For God is sheer beauty. Hallelujah. All generous, in law, loyal, always and ever. Let's take verse 5 again. For God is sheer beauty, always generous, in love, loyal, always and ever. I have this feeling that we should read it from the beginning to the end again. For the benefit of those that didn't pay attention very well at the first read. But are interested as we began to hear the use of words. So I will go over it again. Psalm 100 from verse 1 to verse 5. On your feet now, applaud God. Bring a gift of laughter. Sing yourself into his presence. Know this. God is God. And God, God, he made us. We didn't make him. We are his people, his well-tended sheep. Verse 4. Enter with the password. Thank you. Make yourself at home. Talk in praise. Thank him. Worship him. Verse 5. For God. Our God is sheer beauty. All generous in love. Loyal. Always and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just look at the rendition of Psalm 100 verse 1 to 5 by the message version. He presented God as a sheer beauty. He presented God as ever loving. He presented God as ever loyal, never unloyal. These are the attributes of God that the Spirit of the law introduces God to us with at the beginning of the year. Say, so look at God. And I want you to know this about God. The God of our father, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Holy One of Israel. This is what I want you to know about him. Number one, our God is sheer beauty. Ever loving. Ever loyal. On the strength of these attributes of God, in verse 3, he told us, this God that is loyal, that is beautiful, this God that is loving, this God is powerful. Vasily says, I want you to know that this ever lawyer, this ever loving, this sheer beautiful God is powerful. God is powerful. And I'd like you to know that about God at the beginning of the year. Powerful in what sense? Powerful in the sense of having the ability to make. He said he is the one that made us whatever we are. We didn't make him. He is our maker. He is telling you, whatever you see in anybody's life, that you wish and you desire for your life, he said it is God that made any man, whatever any man is. So therefore, at the beginning of this year, it is important that you know that the Lord your God that you call Father, He is the one that is behind the testimony of the people that you wish you have. And this God that is this powerful, He is loving towards you. He is loyal towards you. And He is a beauty to behold. What is he loyal to us? What is he loyal about towards you? He is loyal to his promises towards you. He is faithful to his promises towards you. 
He will never fail you nor forsake you concerning what he has promised you. And what has he promised you? In Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Matthew eleven twenty-eight, 28. He promised you that if you will come to him over any issue that bothers you, over any issue that burdens you and has become a burden for you, he said he will give you rest. Meaning, he will help you on that issue to bring it to you according to your heart desire and even better, that it will no longer be a trouble for you. Beloved, it's a new year. And it's important for you to know that this God, this your God, this my God, this our God, He's not a weak God like men are. Concerning his promises, he is not slack in fulfilling them. God is not a man that he should lie. You know, it's possible that as we resume this new year 2021, you are still struggling with the disappointments of 2020. You are still struggling with the letdowns the unfulfilled expectations of 2020 is affecting you. It's making it difficult for you to be excited and be hopeful concerning the year 2020, uh, And that's why the Lord is sending me to you. Whatever be responsible for the non-fulfillment of your expectation in 2020, the Lord is saying, look at me. I'm for you this year. Let me tell you the secret of receiving your expectation for 21 and even all the unfulfilled expectations in 2020, I can carry them over and make them your testimony. There is a secret. There is a password. And, it, and God will want you to resume the year 2021 operating with the password. And what is the password? Let's go to verse 1. Verse 1 mentioned three activities according to the message version. Number 1, he said, Now, the time to introduce the password that will make the year 2021 the best year of your life so far is now. Right now. Not tomorrow. Right now introduce the password for the year and you will see God come true for you. And what is the password? There are three activities. Number one, he said, now, clap your hands. Clapping. Put your hands together for God. He said, number two, the second password is laughter. Rejoice over what the Lord has said. That's the second password. Laughter. Let the knowledge of the presence of God with you, let it make you to laugh. Laugh, laugh over everything that God is to you. Situations and circumstances that you cross into this year with or cross into this year to meet may not be laughable. But in the midst of that situation that is not laughable, let the presence of God, the knowledge that God is with you, let it make you laugh. Laugh over the fact that God is with you. Laugh over the fact that God has promised you, I will not leave you nor forsake you this year. The second password for this year is laughter. In the face of oppositions, in the face of resistance, in the face of what seems like is only a similitude of disappointing, laugh. Respond to every attack. Respond to every negative report. Respond to every threat to your expectation. Not with murmuring. Not with grumbling. But with laughter. Laugh. He said, rise up and clap your hands for God. Instead of opening your mouth to speak for the devil, speaking yourself down according to the situation, Rise to your feet in the midst of the dark. 
put your hands together for God in the darkness around you. It will confuse the forces behind the darkness because they can't understand what you are clapping for. You are supposed to be surrounded by darkness. That's what they see. And they hear you clapping your hands as if the light has come. Of course, light has come. For this is the year of glory. This is the year of your special treatment. Number one, clap your hands throughout this year. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, you will continually find the wisdom and the grace to put your hands together for the Lord ceaselessly, no matter what happens this year. Because you know, in the midst of whatever happens, you are not alone in it. God is with you. And so you will be clapping your hands for God. If you don't mind, I'd like you to put your hands together for God. Even right now, as you are listening to me. Clap for God in every situation. Clap for God at all times. Wake up in the morning, clap for God. Step into your car, clap for God. You get to your office, clap for God. Let it be your own token by which you acknowledge the presence of God with you every time, everywhere, in all situations. That's the password. Clapping of your hands. As you clap your hands for the Lord in the year 2021, all the goodness of God, all the favors of God, all the blessings of God that are programmed for you this year, wherever they are, they will begin to find their ways into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. It is the year of clapping because the Lord is treating you specially. Number two, Laugh. Laugh until your enemies are confused. Laugh until your enemies are weeping for sorrow. Because their intention is that you will be doing the crying. Let them do the crying they think you, will go, you are going to cry. They brought you into that situation thinking you will cry. Don't cry for your enemy. Laugh for your God. Let them do the crying. Because when you do not cry, over the situation they thought you are going to cry. Somebody must do the crying. They will do the crying. The Bible says, he that did get a pit for somebody to be buried there. If the person that they intend to bury there refuses to be buried, the pit must be occupied. They will occupy it. That's why the Bible says, he that did get a pit shall be buried in it. This year, 2021, make up your mind. No matter what happens, me, I fell more lushes on the for me. I am going to laugh. I am going to laugh for my God. I am going to laugh with my God. I am going to laugh over the presence of God with me. I am going to laugh over the faithfulness of God to his promises in my life. This year, 2021, is my year of laughter, is my year of clapping. Hallelujah. That's the password. That's the second part of the password. Now, the third part of the password, the last one, he says, sing. Oh, brethren, sing. On the mountain, sing. In the valley, sing. On the land, sing. Even in the water, sing. In the book of Jonah, chapter 1 and chapter 2, the Bible said, in the belly of the fish, total gross darkness. In the belly of the fish, in the bottom of the ocean, Jonah was praising his God. Beloved, do you want to see the presence of God in your life this year? Do you want to enjoy the favor that God intends for you this year? Do you want to experience victory over your enemy this year? Do you want to see your enemy confused and begin to turn against themselves this year? Do you want to see the powers from your father's house that has held your destiny to ransom, disgraced and embarrassed this year? Then sing. Then sing. No matter the condition, flash your teeth and laugh. No matter the condition, open your mouth and sing. No matter the condition, put your hands together and clap. Clapping, laughing, I mean, clapping, laughing, and singing. These are the password for the year 2021. Password to where? Verse 2 says, password into the presence of God. 
Hey, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, in the year 2021, you will spend your days in the presence of God. I will spend my hours in the presence of the Lord. We will spend every day of every week, of every month, of every quarter of the year 2021 in the presence of God. You and I, our families, we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord throughout this year. The password into spending your year 2021 in the presence of the Lord. What are they? Clapping, laughing, and singing. Take note, no more money. No grumbling. No biting of fingers. No putting your hand on your head and say, yeah, what have I done? No stamping of your feet on the ground in sorrow. No keeping malice. No keeping bitterness against anybody. See, old God responsible for your life. No matter the situation, give thanks to God. That's what the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 says. In everything, don't allow the devil to deceive you as to begin to look for people to hold responsible for what happens to you. Whether good or bad, whether painful or pleasurable, whether like or unlike, hold God responsible for whatever happens to you this year. Why? Because whoever is able to hurt you this year, that person is able to hurt you because God allowed him to find himself in, his, in your path. If the person did not make it to your path this year, will he be able to hurt you? No. And whoever makes it to your pathway this year, it is God that allowed him to get to your pathway. So hold God responsible for whatever comes your way this year. Knowing that even if that thing be painful, God has allowed it. Because it is the pathway to the glorious destination that God has in mind for you this year. The pathway to pleasure can be pain. The pathway to gain can be pain also. So even if there be pains this year, even if there be betrayers this year, even if there be stabbing in the back this year, when they come, respond to them and the people behind them with thanksgiving. Look at that situation in the face. I say, Lord, I thank you for this situation. Look at that situation in the face. I say, Lord, I thank you for the people that is behind this situation. My Father, thank you. Oh, put your hands together for the Lord. Oh, open your mouth and laugh. Open your mouth and sing. He says, sing yourself into his presence. Psalms 100, message version. He says, sing yourself into the presence of the Lord. He said, laugh yourself into the presence of the Lord. He said, clap yourself into the presence of the Lord. You ask, what is the benefit of being in God's presence in the year 2021? What do I stand to benefit from making it into God's presence? Ah, a lot. I will mention a few people who had time in, the God, in God's presence. What happened to them? Let me start with Joseph. The Bible says Joseph was betrayed by his ten brothers. But the Lord was with Joseph. You know where it ended? The betrayer of his brethren. The betrayer of him. The betrayer by his brethren. God that was with him used their betrayer. To open the door for him to the palace. He became the prime minister. With the presence of the in the presence of the Lord, the Lord will turn bitterness to sweetness. In the presence of the Lord, what the enemy intends to use to tear you apart, God will use to build you up to glory and honor. The Bible says God was with Joseph. What about Daniel? They conspired against him. A man with whom God was with. 
and they threw him into the lion's den. But because God was with him, the lion could not destroy him. He came out from the lion's pit and became a principal counselor, a provincial head in the kingdom. And what about the people that conspired against him? They fed them to the lion and they hid them. What about Joshua? In the book of Joshua chapter 1, the Bible said God appeared to Joshua after the death of Moses. And said, Joshua, go over this Jordan and come into the promised land. With the, promise, with the presence of the Lord, there is no obstacle that can stop you. The thing that stops your predecessors will not stop you. The power that stopped the others will become your own stepping stone to glory and honor. May the Lord be with you. May the Lord be with me. May the Lord be with us. Enter his gates. The gate of his presence with thanksgiving. Say, talk thanks with him. Talk appreciation with him. And this year, 2021, it will be the best year of your life. So once again, beloved, before I pray for you, the Lord has revealed to you the password for the year. And it is in three activities. And it is supposed to be introduced every time, everywhere, even now. Clap, laugh, and sing. I take it again. Clap, laugh, and sing. Everywhere. Practice this this year. As a physical expression of gratitude. And you'll be unstoppable. You'll be unlimited. And you'll be undefeatable. It will be victory all the way for you. It will be success all the way for you. It will be rejoicing all the way for you. I want to thank you for listening to me. And more importantly, I congratulate you. Because by this revelation, you are empowered to succeed this year. So I rejoice with you for all the successes you will get this year. Because by the end of this year, 2021, you and I, we shall be rejoicing and celebrating at the mountaintop in the name of Jesus Christ. But before I go, if you are listening to me, and you are not born again, or you are discouraged over last year, I'd like to quickly pray with you. A very simple prayer. Say with me for those of you that are not yet born again. Lord Jesus, I have heard about you, that you are the Savior of man. I confess my sins to you. Forgive me all my sins. Save my soul from sin and the punishment of sin. I accept you as my Lord and Savior today. Thank you for forgiving me my sins and for becoming my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. If you have prayed that prayer, you are born again. You are a child of God. As you go forth into the air, clapping, singing, and laughing, you will begin to see God. He will be showing up for you. And there will be a lot of things to celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. And for those of you that are discouraged, I pray the Lord encourage you. I pray the Lord appear to you. As you begin to clap, as you begin to laugh, as you begin to sing, may the Lord show up for you in places where you desperately need help. Very soon it will be school fee time. May the Lord show up for you and pay your bills. May the Lord show up for you and get you married. May the Lord show up for you and bless you with promotion. May the Lord show up for you and bless you with fruit of the womb. By the end of this year, there shall be evidences all around you that the Lord has been good, that the Lord has been loving. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray for you. If you look at the screen, you will see information about us. I'd like to hear from you this year. I'd like to share with you and hear your testimony and let others still hear about what God is doing in your life. Once more, until I see you next Wednesday, keep living under the atmosphere of grace for you are blessed. In Jesus' name, amen.